Hello everyone, my name's Nick, this is Kerbal Space Program, and today we're going to see my new invention, the Grand Tour. Let's uh, hop on into this guy and get rockin' and rollin'. So, this, as you might be able to tell, looks very much like an SSTO. It isn't, and it is, but it mostly is, isn't. Bah, you'll see in a minute. Anyway, what we are going to do is get this thing up to speed, and we can take it from there. Now, you might already be able to guess what I'm doing with this thing, just by what I just did there in map mode. Or you might not. Either way, don't worry about it. You'll figure it out soon enough. I'm going to fly us up to a circular orbit, and we will take it from there. So, ready, set, and go. And we're back. And that wasn't too bad, all things considered. 115k by 115k with a difference of 160 meters. Pretty happy with that. So, as you saw there, I deployed radiators and solar panels. Probably going to need those at some point. And now, let's see why this thing is not an SSTO. Although, obviously, it is. It just did it, and it has oodles of fuel left to do the rest. Um, but it's not. It is, in fact, an SSTA. A single stage to anywhere. So this, right here, is my resource gathering kit. You can see the other side of the solar cells there. Converter, a little bit of extra fuel. And we got empty ore tanks, some drills in here as well, which barely, barely touch the surface. But they tuck in there nice, so I like them. Anyway, don't need that out for now. Let's get ourselves over to Minmus, and then the real fun can begin. Well, we have arrived, and I'm a little bit concerned because I can't find some of my liquid fuel. Um, trying to figure this out, but I don't know where the heck it's hiding, unless I just can't do math properly. Oh well. What can you do, right? Alright. We are arriving at Minmus. Let's watch the map do its thing. Alright. That looks pretty good. So, let's go ahead and quick save that. And then we can try this landing, which hopefully will work out well. Let's warp to there. And again, I would really like to know where that extra bit of liquid fuel is hiding. But, uh, whatever. It's costing me a little bit of Delta V, but I should still have enough to get down to the ground. So, back on the sunny side, and getting ready for my... Next maneuver, which is going to be, I guess we could call it the insertion burn. I want to aim for the lake, just because it's a nice, easy target to hit. This change in Delta V is a little bit unfortunate, but I should still be able to manage it. There, it looks nice. Okay, so we should be setting down somewhere in and around here, which is great. Um, we're going to have to do a little bit of massaging as we come in. So I'm going to bring this down to about there. And now, as you can see, we're carrying a decent amount of velocity. Um, we're not too far up, right? These readings are more or less identical, which is another nice thing about landing on the ocean or on these uh, ice masses that, um, well, basically it's nice because it allows you to know exactly 
how high the terrain is. Now, with Kerbal Engineer, or I guess Mech Jeb, you can do this too. Um, you can just base it off of your actual altitude, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, I think this works pretty nicely. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm mostly killing lateral velocity as I come down. And I want to kind of continue to do this. Eventually I'll start to be moving forward. Um, but at the very least I want to make this as soft of a landing as possible, right? So right now I'm just changing my orientation over. Let us fall down a little bit more. I've mostly killed my lateral velocity from what I can tell, um, and I think I'm basically upright. So the gears should take the brunt of the impact. But uh, still a little bit concerned. We've only got 125 meters per second left, um, which should make for an interesting landing. Oh, baby. Come on, baby. Let's roll it back on over. Ooh, Nelly. Ha-ha. <laughs> we have touchdown. With two meters per second left to spare. Although, realistically, I have more than that in here somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Oh, well, there you go. It's in the wings, and the wings aren't draining. That answers that question. I will have to put that into a future build, but for now, as you can see, this thing has landed, and it is a pig to slow down. So, just to prove that this thing is, in fact, an SSTA, once this thing has come to a full and complete stop, we're going to go ahead, deploy the drilling equipment, start to gather some ore. Is that full stop that I was talking about? Zero. Nine. Eight. Insufficient? Well, that's not good. How's about now? Yes. At long last, we have resource gathering. Screenshot. And with that, thank you very much for watching. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if you feel like it. And I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.